Hello and welcome to another new episode of Tony the Movie Guy, the podcast. Today we have a special episode of action movies and this is a two-parter so this is part one. You'll have to stay tuned until next week to hear part two. So I'm just going to go ahead and play it. Part one of Tony the Movie Guy, the podcast, action movies. All right. Hello, everyone. This is Tony the Movie Guy. We've got a special episode for you today. Uh, I have a special guest. Uh, Miss Money Annie isn't with us today, but in her place, uh, and also by popular demand, because apparently I'm not good enough as a guy, uh, I've got my good friend Shannon Barnes. Say hi, Shannon. Hi, Shannon. And uh, his lovely uh, girlfriend, Juliet. Hi, everyone. Yeah. So look, we do have a bit of a female uh, perspective still with us today, but... um. Yeah, so we're going to do action movies. Remember, one of the very first uh, episodes I did was, uh, you know, men like rom-coms too, you know. Uh, you know, I wanted to do a plug that, you know, we like a lot of good romantic comedies and we went through all of those and I did that episode with Yenny, and everyone loved it, but they were like, yeah, next time you can do like action films with a guy. So it's been this long running <laughs> joke. I've been like, what's wrong with me? I'm a guy. Don't I qualify? You can laugh in the mic. It's okay. I like your laugh, Shannon. <laughs> anyway, so by popular demand, I have a real man's man because I'm not good enough. Shannon, actually, I want you to tell the people uh, listening a little bit about yourself because Shannon is badass. He's like, he's actually a real life action hero. I'm very proud of my good friend. He's like a, a member of the Tapas. I know that's, that's right. I said that wrong. <laughs> that's a tasty Tapas Mexican a... snack. <laughs> no, why don't you tell people what you do? Because you're like a real life action hero, my right. friend. First off, you say that, and then just moments ago, we were both bawling on the couch watching Band of Brothers. Right. We were watching the last episode of Band of Brothers, which is one of the best, you know, movie uh, TV shows ever. So, you know what? We deserved it. It was worth it. <laughs> we get a pass. We were. We were, we were bawling <laughs> we our eyes it. out on the very end of the last episode. We looked at each other. We just had tears. <laughs> it was, like, hilarious. And then my wife's like, you only cry on movies. You never, you didn't even cry at our wedding, which is true. <laughs> It's totally true. Anyway, tell people about yourself. <laughs> um, yeah, no, uh, topos, it's with an O. Oh, it's not tapas. Okay. <laughs> yeah, topos is, is Spanish for moles or tunnel rats. And it's a... Um, Which I did know, by the way. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about this multiple times. Exactly. Off mic. Um, no, it's, a, um, it's a, a volunteer search and rescue team that operates... Um, based out of Mexico, but we work with the UN and we go out and do um, disaster relief and rescue after disasters all over the world. So we got the name basically because we, like after an earthquake or something like that and the buildings collapse, we will tunnel into the building and rescue people that are trapped inside. And when we are coming out, our heads pop out of the ground and we look like moles coming right. up out of the ground. So that's how we got our name. Yeah, and you've been, what are some of the places you've been to just <clears throat> um, recently? Nepal in 2015 for the earthquakes out there, because they, they got rocked by back-to-back right. -back earthquakes in a two-week period. They had uh, three earthquakes that were greater than 7.4 on the Richter scale, and then multiple aftershocks every day in between. And then um, Ecuador the next year had a big earthquake on the northern northwest coast. And then um, I was in Texas for the hurricane. And then in Florida for the hurricane okay. right after that. And I was in Colombia briefly for the, there was a big mudslide and some flooding down there. So I was down there helping out too. Right. But you like save lives yes. <laughs> for real. Yeah. So I had to plug that. Is there a place people can <clears throat> find the topos? Um, say there, <laughs> there's multiple places out there. Like we're not, we don't have like a webpage. Yeah, or, under the radar. Yeah. Um, and there's a couple organizations that, um, have like the Topos started in 1985 in Mexico when they, they had a big earthquake in okay. Mexico City and that's where the team got started and then over the years it's grown into an international rescue team where we have volunteers from 28 different countries so we have like firefighters from France and Ecuador Peru Turkey um, and US obviously and then 
they we're, we're all just volunteers and we're, it's mostly firefighters, medics, EMTs, stuff like that. Um, but we also do have, um, like civil engineer guys that are familiar with building construction and, and architecture and stuff like that. So when we, they can look at the buildings when, and go like, okay, this is structurally sound here. You can start digging at this end or like everybody get the fuck out because you need to stop digging and, and get out right. because the building's not structurally sound anymore, which obviously it collapsed, but it's not, but you know what I mean? Like, yeah, totally. <clears throat> well, it's incredible work what you guys do. So I had to mention that we have a, real life action hero with us today all right good so what we're gonna do which is gonna be kind of fun and i'm gonna mix it up a little bit is we're gonna go through action movies and i'll call this one like women like action movies too <laughs> <laughs> juliet's with us today yes please which women do women actually love action movies so what i'm gonna do is um go through i obviously have a list um but usually i kind of go through my list and we talk about it and then at the end you know uh yenny We'll kind of go over any others she hasn't done. I'm going to mix it up a bit today. I'm going to do one. You'll do one. I'll do one. You'll do one. We'll talk about it. Juliet, you can come in anytime you want. This is not just the boys' party. Yeah, and, you know. <laughs> and, well, we are the, the bangers in the We are. We're big sausages. Um, <laughs> and some of them we'll probably really discuss and do a deep dive on, and, and some of them we won't. We'll just kind of comment on because, uh, I mean, my list is pretty substantial. Um, but I will start, okay? Um, and top of my list, and actually I think everyone will agree with this, uh, on any list of best action movies, it's always number one, and I think it still stands the test of time, is, is Die Hard, the first one. Agreed. Uh, with Bruce Willis. Yeah. I mean, Bruce Willis wasn't even an action star. He was, like, known for a TV show called Moonlighting. Mm -hmm. It came out of nowhere. Die Hard is just such a badass action movie from start to finish and then obviously it gave the world Hans Gruber mm -hmm. who's yes. like one of the best it's movie so villains <laughs> of all time rest in peace the incredible Alan Rickman I, I we all love that movie yes. right yeah. yes. he's amazing it's it's just such a great film and I think it really spawned that whole kind of movement of like the badass action hero actually totally. John McClane is probably like the OG action hero would you agree totally totally one thing we can talk about if you want to now because you mentioned it Julia is actually some of the other Die Hard films are fantastic yeah um Die Hard with a Vengeance mm -hmm. it is a fantastic action movie and then the the one they I, the last one was terrible terrible but they did Live Free or Die Hard with yeah. Justin Long um, Kevin Smith's in that as well. That. <laughs> um, that's a computer the warlock. <laughs> the warlock. That's right. That is actually a fantastic action movie. Yeah. Timothy Oliphant's in it. He's the the villain as well. Um, but the, that's got some like jaw dropping action sequences in it. So it definitely deserves a mention. Yeah. Totally. It's witty too. I, yeah. I thought Justin Long added a really nice balance for funny, but also kick ass. I mean, I like that kid. I like. I him. really do. Yeah. I haven't seen him do enough, and he's someone I always enjoy when I watch him in a movie. Yeah. So we all agree on Die Hard. Absolutely. That, it's, that, it yeah, is on my list later on, further on down, but I wasn't as organized as you. That, that's okay. <laughs> don't worry. But I'd say that's probably numero uno as well. Okay, good. So your turn. We're going to try okay, to so tell me one. We talked about this briefly off the mic. <laughs> and we, he says, save it for the podcast. <laughs> Predator 2. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay, so I have Predator on the list, yeah. so I'll just mention that one now. Predator is a great action movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, it, it's a great film. It's, you know, it's kind of science fiction, obviously, but it is nonstop action. I've seen Predator 2 when it came out. I don't remember it at all, so you I, need I, to <laughs> make a defense for Predator okay. 2. <laughs> I, I think you need to to give it a second chance okay. like you need to watch it again um i knew you were going to have all of the greats on your list already right. so i was kind of pulling from like okay these are the lesser known which i love movies that i yeah. i really liked and that movie had such an impact on me as obviously predator did, did too but right. um the the opening scene of like danny glover like in that That's time right. period it's danny glover, danny glover. Oh it's, it's amazing but i i don't know if you like that time period the movie industry was just telling us that like in the not too distant future, everything goes to shit in LA and New York. Like, so kind of true, <laughs> kind of true, but it was basically like, you know, you know, five years from now. And as a kid, you're, you're taking all this in and I'm like, so in five years it's going to be fucked. Right? right. And it's just going to be gang wars. And there, obviously there are gang wars in LA and I've, you know, I've had my bike stolen. I've had a gun to my head. I've, you know, 
had a knife pulled on me growing up in LA, but it was never what they showed us in the movies. And there's right. this giant fuck off fucking gunfight opening scene predator. Oh, that's and right. Danny Glover comes in like a fucking badass with his car and like uses his car as a shield to rescue the cop that's <laughs> down. And it just opens up with this big fucking like, like just dropped into the middle of an action. Right. And then it just rolls from there. And there's the, you know, the whole thing, like the predator in the sea, that was like, first one was in the jungle. The second one is in, in the city and they, they work just as well. Like the predator is the fucking ultimate hunting machine. You see a lot more of the predator in this. That's second true. One and well, you see I a think. whole bunch of them. Like at the yeah. end when Danny Glover like defeats one of them and they like give him his props for like, fuck you. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to take yeah, the hunting won. party and fuck off because yeah. a human like just killed one of us and we give you proper respect. We're going to leave you alone. Yeah. You, we play by the rules. I love and how excited Shannon is. <laughs> He's so into it. It's <laughs> great. No, look. So I'll give I'll give it to you. Predator Two ab- absolutely counts. And I also remember Bill Paxton is in yes, Predator Two. That's where he gets the trifecta. That's of being right. Killed by a Terminator, Terminator aliens, aliens, and, and predator. predator, which only us dorky dudes would know. <laughs> I, love him. I love him. I love him on a fucking yeah, train. May he rest in peace. He oh, was yeah, amazing. He was awesome. Okay, good. I'm giving it to you. So Predator Two, you got it. And then I'll just plug Predator the yeah, first one absolutely. now as well. Hands down. Okay, good. So the next one I have is The Matrix. Um, so that's science fiction, but I mean, come on. That film is one of the most badass action sequences in the whole world. It gave the world the whole slow motion bullet time yeah. effects. But and, you know and the spin around camera. Even though they had the done it in camera. Wing Commander first. No, like, it like set the threshold. Yeah, absolutely. Like, set the bar. Yeah. The, that that you know, the the 360 rotation right, or right. the 180 rotation camera effect with Trinity in fucking air doing the kick. Just right, like- so it opens with that incredible <clears throat> sequence with her doing that, like, kick in the air. But it's got so many action sequences in it. Yeah, um, and they make leather look really good. <laughs> <laughs> and those ridiculous sunglasses. It Fuck was yeah. just oh so God. cool. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was so cool. Everything yeah. about it. Was yeah, just... the leather, the, the weird yeah. thin sunglasses were yeah. so trendy and hip at the time. Oh, my God. I look at it now. I'm like, why did I wear stuff like that? Because yeah. it was fucking awesome. Yeah. yeah. But the, even just the karate, the choreography. Yeah. And then, obviously, I remember like th- that scene when they just open up their jackets with all the guns yeah. and blow <laughs> everyone away. That was talked about for a long time. They pushed the limits. So they really yeah. hadn't had anything like that. Yeah. Uh, it was just amazing. It's funny you talk about that scene. I just rewatched Stargate recently. And there's, it's almost like a callback. Like Stargate has that thing where they're in the temple and it's just a bunch of pillars. Oh, yeah. And the dudes are going around. They're just fucking shooting at each other. Almost exactly like the setup. Of That's Animation. a great sci-fi yeah. movie too. Yeah. It just reminded me like that scene. I was like, holy shit. It's almost like you could right. superimpose those two places and you could still have the same action scene in there. Absolutely. I just have to say one more thing. Keanu Reeves, he just makes stuff look cool. Like he, he just he he's one of the coolest action heroes. He I agree. just has this vibe of just I don't know, stuff just brushes off of him. I, I love Keanu. Yeah, yeah I'm totally. a sucker for him. I think his movies are great. Even the ones that aren't so great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I just like him. Yeah, I like him a lot. And, Absolutely. You know, he also puts in the work. Oh, totally. Like yeah. there's that, you know, he he doesn't just like phone it in and like, you know, I'm gonna do like look macho. He actually goes to the gun range and practices. And so when he's doing all those motions and stuff like that, that's really like, he has somebody training him to do that. And he does the, the, that gun run. That's a video online of him. It's amazing. I've seen that video. Yeah. So we're talking Keanu. Let's just say John Wick. I mean, John Mm -hmm, Wick, mm -hmm. I mean, that's only been out for a few years. That's one of the best action films already. I think it cemented itself in, you know, the hall of fame. And again, you're right. Like he trained hardcore for that movie. And that movie blew me away. It kind of came totally. out of nowhere. The action sequences, the choreography is incredible. Yeah. But you know what I love the most about John Wick? It's over a fucking dog. I know. <laughs> they, they shot his puppy. That's and horrible. talk about crying. I was weeping like a little bitch. <laughs> so messed because up. The, well, the puppy crawls over yeah. to him. You see a trail of blood and he wakes up. You know, because he gets beaten up and knocked totally. unconscious. And the puppy has crawled over to him and it has its paw on him. And I was like, you kill every one of those motherfuckers, <laughs> John Wick. And he guys. does, man. I mean, that's a fantastic movie. The yeah. second one was great. Mm-hmm. But the first one, I've seen it like five times. I absolutely love it. The second one was just great action spectacle. But the first one, oh, so good. So I, I, I plug John Wick too. Your totally. turn. <laughs> 
I think that, sorry, I think that shows a good star because if someone else, a B-rated actor, had done that, it would have just sort of been like, ah, whatever. It's kind Absolutely. of a sappy story. You killed a dog and you go on a rampage killing people. But it's it's him. He's really the star. I agree with you. That's a good point. That's Keanu Reeves' movie. Yeah. Right? He made, that showed he's, uh, he's a star, mm-hmm. yeah. which I always thought he mm-hmm. was. I love yeah. Keanu. Yeah. And I hope all those rumors about him are true, like just being a, a the, dinner, nicest dude the nicest in the world. dude in the world. The nicest dude in the world, yeah. I, I want to believe that about him because yeah. he just, you know. Yeah, we love him. Yes. We are the Keanu Reeves fan club. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do you got? Um, I, I'm Last of the Mohicans. Oh, that's on my list. Is it I, really? I, oh. Okay, good. I thought so, you were going to shoot me down. No, no, no. So Last of the Mohicans is like an, uh, an epic kind of historical drama. But it has two or three of the best action sequences Absolutely. I've ever seen, especially the one on the field. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then, um, so lots of the Mexicans just say, you know, Shannon is one of my favorite films. Okay, I good. love that Perfect. movie. Especially the last 12-minute tracking shot. Yes. I watch that scene probably 200 times. and so oh, Everything happens to all the main characters. This film's been out for 25 years, so I'm going to give spoilers. But like the, the main British guy dies. Mm-hmm. The daughter dies, the main chief, his son dies, and then he has the big showdown with the bad guy. And they all die in that 12-minute tracking shot. Mm-hmm. It's fucking amazing. Oh. And there's that great soundtrack pushing behind it. The music it, just like is driving phenomenal. Driving the, the whole story forward, and you're just like, you're rolled up in that fucking moment right I there agree. with them. And you're just like, and again, fucking waterworks are going at the end because yeah. you're just like everybody's fucking dying but uh, it's, it's it's traumatizing <laughs> talk about a wrap-up a culmination yeah. it, oh i agree so i've seen the film maybe five or six times i've watched that sequence and made other people watch it probably a hundred times right. so uh, it absolutely <clears throat> counts all right my next one is the raid redemption have you seen that sorry have you seen the raid no, redemption no no Okay, that's a flunk. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the, the Raid Redemption is, I think it's a Korean film. Um, it's subtitled. It is hands down one of the best action f- uh, films you will ever see. Mm. It it's, came out in the last decade, I think, and they've already done a sequel, and the sequel's pretty badass. Oh, my God, you have to check this movie out. It is relentless. Did you ever see Dread, the remake of Dread that yes, came out a few yeah, years I ago? I love okay. that which I loved. And I was going to put that on this list because it has great action. The reason I didn't is one of the reasons Dread didn't do so well, unfortunately, because I thought it was great, is it pretty much copied, or maybe it just came out the same time, as the story of The Raid Redemption. There were basically drug dealers at the top, the SWAT team of like Korean SWAT guys Mm -hmm. come in, and they have to make their way up each level to the top, which is pretty much the same story in Dread. Yeah. But it's crazy martial arts yeah like insane martial arts okay we'll put it on the list oh it, <laughs> it's hyper it's hyper violent it is and it's already been deemed you know by many reviewers as one of the best action films ever made okay. so check it out what do you got uh kubo and the two strings action it's got some action i knew see uh, we talked about this we we're going to shut each other down and i have to defend my position hey you won't shoot mine now no. <laughs> mine are all right no i'm kidding I actually enjoyed that movie. I don't think it's an action film. I had film. nobody, I, an honorable mention then. Okay. Because it has four, uh, the type of movie that it is, it's a kid's flick. Right. And it's done with the the cool, like, stop motion yeah. stuff. Is it claymation or stop motion? Stop motion. Okay. I, one of the, whatever. But it's it's not like Pixar, like, right. you know, DreamWorks type stuff. It's, it's a very different independent vibe to right. it. And... Even with that, I was I took my my niece to it, and she's eight, nine now. But um, we we got all enrolled in, in like enthralled into the movie. And there's that big thing, the giant skeleton comes out, and she's my niece is fucking freaking out, and I'm like, you know, on the edge of my seat. And <laughs> so there's some great action in You're it. Such a little kid. <laughs> so look, I mean, okay, his, honorable his, mention. Then here's yeah. the reason why I wouldn't say that is because we did kind of talk about this. You, you have to kind of tread a thin line. Every movie has a little bit of action in right. it, right? And, um, and I would give you that. It's more yeah. of a drama, like kids movie. Right, right, it's, right. it's a family movie about reuniting with family and all that yeah. kind of stuff. But it's got some for that kind of thing. It's got great action in yeah. it. I enjoyed it. Yeah. All right, I'm going to move on. Okay. All right, Mad Max Fury Road. Okay, yeah. That's one of the best action films made ever. I mean, that like cemented itself as like an instant action modern masterpiece. Would you agree? Absolutely. I mean, that film is 
essentially a 90 minute 100 minute car chase mm -hmm. To one area and then turn back. around and come back <laughs> with yet, dirt <laughs> right yet makes it so relentless and entertaining and what i loved about that movie was obviously tom hardy is fantastic as uh, mad max but it also introduced an incredible feminine hero yeah. um furiosa with, yeah. from charlie Theron, and so much of that is practical effects as well right which yeah. are incredible the stunts and the choreography it's beautiful yeah, to and look those at fuckers were swinging from those oh giant God, fucking like, pole for real. Sticks. like yeah <laughs> the stunts are incredible you know so i'll make a plug now since i'm already talking about mad max fury road uh, to me that's in the top five uh the original mad max films mel gibson mm -hmm. did three of them don't hold up as well but the road warrior the second the one second one is still pretty badass even though it's quite outdated the stunt work is pretty phenomenal yep. with all the cars and stuff. So I'll give that one a mention too. All right, what else you got? Rumble in the Bronx. I don't know if I've seen that. Is that the one with um, Brandon Jack Lee? Jackie Chan. Oh, that's Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan. Okay, you know what? I'm really happy you put a Jackie Chan one on because I felt bad that I think I didn't. I think I missed it out. And I fucking love Jackie, Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan is the shit. So talk about Rumble in the okay, Bronx. Okay, Rumble in the Bronx is just, it's just Jackie Chan doing what he does phenomenally insane stunts yeah, like beating a dude up with the fucking refrigerator door that's like, right he uses <laughs> whatever prop is around him and then him. jumping through like fucking a ladder the opening space in a fucking ladder and then just whipping that ladder around like fucking no one's business like he's just Jackie Chan doing Jackie Chan and hasn't Jackie Chan broken every single bone probably in his body like multiple, multiple times. times yeah yeah he <clears throat> makes it look effortless which is incredible and, and, they, and that's the other thing is they always show at the end of the movie like you know he broke four bones filming this and right then, that's crazy you know they they have to hide his casts under his costume you know in scenes because he still go he keeps going like you can't shut this guy down yeah i think it's a pity that uh, a lot of people only know him from the rush hour movies which don't get me wrong the first one was actually a lot of fun yes. yeah but i hope people you know can go back and check out his earlier stuff he's, and his he's story got a and, huge catalog of yeah. films like I had a beautiful moment, like on the way home from Nepal, I was leaving, coming home and I had a layover in China for several hours. So they put us up in a hotel and I was watching Jackie Chan movies in a Chinese hotel on a Chinese TV in Chinese. And it was just like, wow, that's really, it was yeah, just a weird it's moment. Awesome. It was cool. It's awesome. Okay, good. Well, definitely Jackie Chan. So you did Rumble from the Bronx specifically, which absolutely, he, I mean, he's one of the action greats. Right. All right, I got Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Agreed. So that's one of the best action films ever. Absolutely. I, Incredible. I remember when it came out opening night, we saw it at the um, the Dome. In uh, Hollywood? Yeah. Oh, yeah. On the, you know, the, the big fuck off screen they have there. It's just like huge. And that's, you know, like it's so larger than life in that theater. The screen is so big. Yeah. And that's how you'd want to watch that movie the right. first time ever seeing yeah. it. Like I remember seeing it in the theater. It blew me away. Yeah. I absolutely loved it. And it was just such a genius idea as well to take Arnold Schwarzenegger and make him the hero. Mm -hmm. You know, he's the protagonist. In the first one, obviously, he's the antagonist. Um, but, I mean, it's got some incredible action scenes. T-1000 was phenomenal Robert, from Robert Patrick. So He was so scary. Oh, he was. He was so scary. He was so scary. And he's so, so nice relentless. in real life. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, apparently the <laughs> nicest guy he ever. He really is. Um, I did, uh, there's a charity ride and with a bunch of, he's a big Harley enthusiast and I have my, my bike and there's a big thing that Glendale Harley Davidson does. And he's like one of the, the Marshall guys that like is the host or whatever. Oh, that's he, cool. He did you get to thing. meet him? I did. Oh, that's and, awesome. And, um, in that time, like, you know, obviously this is years later, he had played a firefighter and there's this, like, I'm standing next to him. And he's, you know, he's taller than me, whatever. But then I Is he found, tall, Robert Patrick? Yeah, he is. Oh, wow. Um, but there's, I just, it was funny. Like, I found a photo of me in my uniform from when I was working on the ambulance and him in his uniform and put them under the photo of us together. We have a photo together. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, in a, you know, in our Harley jackets and we're all like, you know, biker dudes, whatever. Badasses. And then yeah. together in our, our, you know, uniforms or with the badge and everything. It's just funny, like the. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, Terminator 2, absolutely yeah. one of the best. Yeah, okay, good. What do you got? 
uh, Big Trouble in Little China. Absolutely on my <laughs> list. Yes. I mean, look, that's a that's the ultimate B movie. Yes, it's ridiculous. John Carpenter, so Kurt Russell. Good. I love Big Trouble the in Lock, Little China. I love that movie. It's like, what is it, Jack? You ready? I was born ready. Uh, yeah, What's the, the other line? The cheesy lines like, "It's all in the reflexes." <laughs> <laughs> love him in lipstick. Oh my god, that's right. <laughs> that's such a badass film. And, and here's the funny thing: I've watched it. Um, recently, actually just a few months ago. And I watched that like two years ago. And I mean, it's very outdated, but I still love it. Oh, it It, is so good. Yeah. There's a lot of those films that for some reason just kind of do stand the test of time and kind of don't. That one's in the middle. I personally get a lot of enjoyment out of it still. I I think it absolutely stands the test of time. That is a phenomenal movie. It's just fun. It's fun. But it also really comes down to the star, though, because they have this charisma and you just have this love for them and it just doesn't even matter because they come through it. Whether the movie, you know, it sort of helps the movie come through. Yeah, his charisma holds that film. And they ended that film 30 years ago leaving it ready for a sequel mm-hmm. where's that damn sequel right? <laughs> don't do it now yeah. don't do it now. well you never know they'll probably just remake the movie but um anyway that's a great pick man yeah. i love yeah. that movie and, and it, people have to check it out totally and while we're on it because we don't want to take up too much time escape from new york right there next do you like that movie i love that really? movie okay uh, i liked it as a kid yeah. i watched it again because i uh, i'm crazy i watch movies over and over sure. And I got through about half of it. It was okay. See, Big Trouble in Little China, as cheesy as it is, I still love it. Yeah. I, it holds a place in my heart. Um, tell me kind but, of why you love Escape from New York. Like Juliet it. said, it's it's his charisma. Like he's just... Snake Plissken. That's right. That's <laughs> right. It's it's all about his Snake. And yeah. he just, you know, you can almost disregard the story. You're right. It's like, that's a kind of a weird whatever, but it's it was a... The story it's a was premise cool. For, it was just, I don't know. But it's just... It's just like decorating around snake like right. that's everything is just so that we could have this character right. that kurt russell brings to life and you that's what, the, what i enjoyed about it is right. just that character that big fuck i mean they, they like did a, a sequel as well escape from la right which yeah. i saw as a kid i don't remember yeah super well but you know it's just one of those movies that kurt russell does kurt russell and we all hey love I'll, it. <laughs> I'll give it to you but we both agree on big trouble yes in little yes, china yes, yes, for sure yeah. Okay, good. So next I've got Kick-Ass. Yes. That's like one of my favorite movies. It's okay. I know uh, Danny's going to have a hell of a time editing this. I'm just going to say it. <laughs> Shannon's so excited. He's worse than me. So it makes me feel good. He's all over the place knocking the mic. <laughs> it's, it's, and I've got the headphones on now so I can actually listen and see what she's going through. <laughs> it, there's so much noise and I'm all over the place. So uh, Danny, who's our producer, and my wife, I love you. I know what you go through. Good we're going to carry on and, you know, look, we're crazy men. We like to gesticulate. I know Juliet's all like prim and proper. <laughs> you calm. sound you sound perfect. <laughs> Thank you. She's barely moved at all. Shannon is all over the I place. She's stroking my beard. I know. And is ruffling. Because you're so excited and I love it. And that's what I'm trying to communicate to her is like, that's what I love about the podcast. We're just kids sitting down and talking. So anyway. You sound hope- like a bunch of like exactly. assholes. Hopefully she'll do okay with the editing and it won't sound like totally bad, but... uh. Who cares? We love this. So you're doing great, Shannon. Don't worry. Keep going. But yeah, keep your hands still. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sit on my hands. <laughs> Kick-Ass is um, a movie that came out in the last decade. It's one of my favorite films of the last decade from um, Matthew Vaughn, who mm-hmm. did like, um, well, we'll plug that one too. He did Kingsman. He did love X-Men Kingsman. First Cast. Kick-Ass is so good. I think the action sequences and Hit Girl, mm-hmm. that girl, um, Chloe Grace Moretz, yeah. I think is the name of the actress. Oh my God, so bad. Nicolas Cage is great in this film. Yes. As Big yeah. Daddy. He's really good. But the the action sequences, especially with her, mm-hmm. are some of the best ones ever. Like incredible choreography. I mean, it's very ultra violent. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like an action comedy. Right. But I love that movie. Kick-Ass is so good. Okay, so since you just mentioned Nick Cage, um, it's it's not at the top of my list right here, but Con Air. Okay, don't worry, we'll get there. Okay. Kick, I think I think Nicholas Cage has a few. Yeah. Um, I'm going to mention then, so Kick Ass for sure. Yeah. I'm going to mention Kingsman. Love yeah, Kingsman because yeah. that's Matthew so Vaughn, funny, same director. So amazing, incredible. Yeah. I mean, same sort of thing. Such charm, right? You know, because you can have something super violent, but there's just another element that's amazing. Kingsman was so fun. The soundtrack, the performances, oh, incredible. And the action sequences, and I remember it 
blew everyone away because there wasn't much buzz. Yeah. And that's why there was a sequel. And the sequel's okay. Yeah. I didn't love it. Didn't love it. Yeah, yeah, but Kingsman, the first one, The Secret Service, oh, it's amazing. Colin Firth, who mm-hmm. knew that he'd make a great action hero. Right. Awesome. That kid, Taron Egerton, love him. He's so charming. Oh, my my wife, Danny, is obsessed with him and Colin <laughs> Firth. Obsessed. No comment. <laughs> and, then, and then she's totally obsessed with Channing Tatum. So when the sequel came out with all three of them in it, yeah. she was... Creaming Snow herself. Drink. Sorry, babe. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, Kings. So Kingsman, the first one in particular, one of the best action movies awesome. of the last decade, and I, I think it it will stand the test of time. It's a great movie. And I just love that Elton John got to kick somebody in the face. Oh, in the second movie, <laughs> oh, he has the most ridiculous cameo in the second movie. Friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's talk about Nicolas Cage because I think he has two. I think he has um, actually. Face he off. Has three. Face he has three. He has face off, Connor, and The Rock. Yes. yes. All three. Yes. The Rock is awesome. Yeah. So The Rock, Sean Connery. Mm-hmm. And oh, what's that line he says about fucking the prom queen? Do you remember that? <laughs> no. In The Rock? It's so great. <laughs> yeah, the Sean Connery accent. Yes. I wish I remembered it. But that that was, I think, one of the first action uh, films that Nicolas Cage did, um, which became a big hit. And then he did uh, Con Air is just a ridiculous film, but I love it. I, so I, it good. totally counts. It's a great pick, and it's on my list. It's a great action film. Yeah. You've got John Malkovich, yeah, so Steve Buscemi. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so many, many great lines great came characters. from that movie, too. Yeah. Define irony. <laughs> oh, yeah. And also, <laughs> when you just give me back the bunny. <laughs> I love John Cusack. I mean, in He's that. great. Fantastic. Yeah. Same thing, though. It's charm, though, because yeah. the script really could have gone either way. Some people could have laughed, but it really comes down to the actors, Yeah, I think. so Con Air definitely... The Rock, absolutely great action movies. And then Face, Face Off. Off. Now, here's what's funny. Face Off, when it came out, I loved it. And it was a huge hit. I have rewatched it, and it's still enjoyable. It's so hammy now. And the performances are so hammy now. And it was John Woo and his ultimate John Woo-ness. He's the director right, of the right, flying right. doves and yeah, the slow motion. Yeah, like gajillion fucking shell casings landing everywhere. But it is Nicolas Cage and John Travolta just acting their pants off mm-hmm. oh, almost incredible. like chewing, in a like symphony chewing, the scene. chewing the scenery you know. they were so good yeah. playing each other though i thought each one of them nailed the other one like yeah. incredibly oh, yes. incredible yes. like you really could sense they had picked up the yeah. other one the other was mannerisms crazy. and like movements oh, like the yeah. laugh and the giggle and the you know. yeah that's yeah. kind of crazy nicholas cage is quite an action style that's like three on the list and they all they're all good <laughs> yeah, yeah they're all good all right what else coming up from valley girl like i love that movie oh, yeah. but that's, that's not an action, action movie at all all right, what else you got? Uh, Smoking Aces. Oh my God, I left that off my list and I actually love that movie. Such a good... I it's fucking love that movie. Unapologetically, just a, an excuse to fucking shoot everybody up. Oh my Violent. God. Have you seen that movie? Yes, <laughs> so I closed my eyes. <laughs> that's a director called Joe Carnahan who... The reason I'm going to mention him is he did that. Uh, he did Smoking Aces and he did a film called Narc, which is also mm-hmm. a really gritty film. Mm-hmm. And then he did um, the uh, reboot of The A-Team, which unfortunately flopped. I loved that movie. <clears throat> I enjoyed it. And then he kind of just Fiddle. vanished. Yeah. yeah, which is a pity. So I just rewatched Smoking Aces. I, I own it. I've mm-hmm. seen it maybe 10 times. Right. It's uh, Ryan Reynolds is great in it. Ray Liotta. Yes. And then it's just got a plethora of who's who. Jeremy Piven. Yeah. Ben Affleck. Chris Pine is in that. I know. One of the yeah. crazy nutters he's, oh, before he's he was great. famous. So good. Uh, great action movie. And isn't... Oh, what's her name? One of those uh, singers is in yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Rihanna? No, no it's no. not Rihanna. Uh, it's the one who does the song with... Um, Aaliyah or... Uh, oh, no. Not Aaliyah. Anyway, I can't the remember. One. Sorry. Uh, Taji P. Henderson is in it. Yeah, she is. And it's the it's her partner. Yeah. It's like one of the famous singers. Um, oh, I, Alicia Keys. Alicia there Keys. Yeah, yeah, she's really good in it. We're going to get a bunch of fucking hate mail because yeah. you guys didn't know. Yeah, no, she's great <laughs> I knew it. I was the girl. Yeah, I know. Yeah, and Common is in it. Yes. Uh, anyway, it's it's a who's who, and you're right. It's just an excuse for all these nutcases to just go crazy. It's all these hitmen mm-hmm. converging on one, like, target. Ugh, I love that movie. I'm glad you had that because I forgot it. Yeah. See, I knew we would bounce off each other. Oh, absolutely. We're doing just you fine. You complete me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you complete me, Shannon. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see. What else I got? Okay, old boy. Have you seen the original? Mm-hmm. Okay, you guys need to watch more foreign films. Okay. 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 <laughs> Rem- remember, I am a movie aficionado. Old boy will scorch your brain. Okay. It will scorch the, the sockets of your eyes. This film is incredible. It's a foreign film. Um, it has one of the most incredible tracking sequences of a, a fight you'll ever see, 
where this one guy takes on about 200 people <laughs> along a corridor. It. Oh, really? Wow. <laughs> it's so visceral. And Daredevil, did you see season yes. one of Daredevil? Kind of the took hallway, something the from hallway. that. I love that. It's that on sequence. crack. Yeah. It's that on crack. This is a very rough film. And it actually, this film is meaty. It's got a storyline and a twist and oh my God. But the action is phenomenal and it's very well known as, matter of fact, before you even watch the whole movie, you can even just Google old boy f uh, hallway fight sequence. Okay. Watch it. It will blow your mind. So it gets a mention for that. All right, your turn. Equilibrium. Ah, that's the Christian Bale the one. Christian Bale that, that did, like, it, everybody who saw it loves it. And yeah. nobody else fucking, nobody saw it, though. So you're right. Equilibrium <laughs> came, no, Equilibrium, in, it came out in the early 2000s with Christian Bale. It did not do well at all. And you're totally right. It has this huge cult following of people who saw it that loved it. Unfortunately, I'm not one of them. I saw it. The fight sequences were okay. I remember it being really dark and depressing. Yeah. And I don't know. It seemed like a really hammy B movie to me. And I actually have wanted to rewatch it because I just saw it that one time. Right. And I, I've seen all of the love and esteem it's built over the last decade. People love that movie. So Absolutely. I'll let you give your plug for it. Go okay. On. It's just it's just another an, uh, unapologetically uh, an excuse to do an action movie with a lot of really cool ideas of like basically incorporating the gun into your martial arts, right. which is like the big thing for that movie. They train with the gun while they're doing the martial arts and they just incorporate it into their moves. So like if I'm going to, you know, fucking block or punch, I also have a gun in my hand. So I'm going to shoot you in the face while I block. <laughs> That's <your punch>. true. <laughs> <laughs> I need to watch it again. I really do. Cause it, it's, it's gotten a lot of love over the years. So I'm going to give it to you for sure. Okay, cool. And then Christian Bell also like he, he does his thing where, you know what I just realized? Sorry to cut you off. Yeah. I know why it didn't do so well. Everyone thought it was just a cheap knockoff of The Matrix. Yes, that's it true. it came out like a year or that two after. That is absolutely true. And they but were go just ahead like, and finish. you motherfuckers, we've seen this story. Right. But... They could have stolen the script too. Right. Who knows? Yeah, but, <laughs> but they didn't. It is a, it is its own thing. If you just yeah. if you just have to... I would say, give it another try. Watch it I again. I will actually. And just... You know, you've, you've put some distance between you and The Matrix now. There's many years. Many. And... Mm -hmm. I can you, see it you, has its own thing. You can just watch it by itself, and I think you would. I think you would at least give it some love. Because I'm, I'm plugging uh, Equilibrium. Because uh, you're right. I've seen it. it's really built a following. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So look, I could pick so many of the different Marvel movies because there's a lot of action sequences in them. I'm going to do the Avengers. Okay. Because I think that's the that's the one that brought it all together. Totally. And it's got incredible action sequences in it, especially at the end when all of the Avengers converge. Hulk smash. Yeah. Um, uh, that was you know, awesome. Yeah, the whole scene <laughs> in New York when they're all just, you know, going crazy. Um, I think it's a great action movie. And it, look, even like Captain America Winter Soldier has some great uh, action scenes, but I'm going to go with the Avengers. And then I have to also mention Captain America Civil War mm -hmm. because the airport sequence totally. is phenomenal. Yeah. And then the, the team up of Winter Soldier and Captain America against Iron Man at the end. Oh, that, yeah, that like, whole Just scene. like fucking whipping the shield back and forth yeah. to each other and taking out Tony. Like that, it's heartbreaking because yeah. they love each other yeah. and they're fucking taking each other out. Yeah, so I mean, Civil War, those sequences, that's every like nerd's dream. Um, so I'm going to say the Avengers and Captain America and Civil War definitely should count as like excellent action movies would absolutely. you agree absolutely and i was going to say earlier like that's, that's my list is kind of like not all because you just have to give it to them like of course all the avengers movies we just saw uh the new thor with ragnarok that, yeah which was awesome. that was the second time we saw it and that's it was, like a flat-out comedy to me though. i know but it was just a fun movie <laughs> it was it's just fun and there's some great like the when thor fucking finally gets his thunder fucking power yeah. and he's <laughs> like that scene on the bridge in slow motion where he's coming down and they have fucking Led Zeppelin in the background. Yeah, like, it's pretty it's, badass. Yeah, you're just like, it's just a moment and it's obviously it's, they're just like spoon feeding us. Like yeah. this is, you know, so, stuff to visually yeah. excite you. Well, and one thing, like, I will take it all. One thing I do, Shannon, is look, I'm a critic. I analyze movies. So I look at like how it's going to stand the test of time. Sure. So I think out of all these Avengers movies and these Marvel movies, there's so many of them now. I mean, we're, what a, we're so lucky in our day and age that yeah. they're making all these movies, especially the Avengers, I think is really going to stand the test of time. I think so. Um, I but anyway, what else I you agree. got? <laughs> um, 
Untouchables. That's an action movie? Yes. Okay, I love Untouchables. I think that's a, gang- and, and, that's a gangster movie. Okay, it's a monster and, and movie. It's, another, it's about like Al honorable, Capone. Yeah, <laughs> honorable mention, but there's no, so... No, you're wrong. It's a, it's a mafia <laughs> movie. It's a different category. <laughs> <laughs> no, but there's that whole thing when the when yeah, the down when the, the steps. No, that's uh, true. In the but train, Ugh. absolutely. That's but there's people forget the Mountie scene when oh, the Canadians yeah, come across awesome. the bridge and they're fucking coming yeah. across the border with all the booze. So and they're shooting each other. Okay, up and, so here's my defense on that. Look, it's a great film, but if you watch Goodfellas or if you watch Godfather, it's got incredible guns, sh- shooting yeah. scenes like that. The Untouchables is a great movie. I love it. Kevin Costner, you know, Sean Connery won his one and only yes. Oscar. Uh, uh, Robert De Niro's Al Pacino. Mm-hmm. Um, teamwork, the baseball bat scene. Yeah. But it is a mobster movie, so we won't talk about it. Okay, anymore. fine. So, <laughs> all right. Nice. Let, okay. Let's see what okay, I've got so next. Then, no, so no, then, no, it's my I, turn now. Well, then if that's, <laughs> okay, go ahead. If you just like shot it I down. I did, man. <laughs> the <long> Disapproved. <laughs> okay. The Long Kiss Goodnight. Okay, good. So, <laughs> again, unfortunately, uh, which ruined it a little bit, you already reminded me of that. Yeah. Uh, but you're totally right. I actually loved that movie when it came out. I remember seeing it with my dad, and it was so badass. Gina Davis mm-hmm. yeah, is this bad, badass, like, what, assassin? And yeah. Then Samuel L. Jackson. And, and you know, gonna pick up my keys, comb my hair. Like it's he, so good. <laughs> I love Sam Jackson doing his... Doing Sam Jackson yeah, again. Right. He He's just great. Does, he does what he does. And but she's a legitimate badass. Oh, in she that. is so yeah, fucking Gina phenomenal. Davis. And she does that that sweet housewife thing just as well as she does yeah. the fucking kick your ass and rip your throat out with yeah. your fingers. I'll you know? definitely give you the long kiss good night. It's okay. a great action film from the nineties, which unfortunately unfortunately hasn't gotten as much love, but it's a great movie. Thank you. All right, my turn. That. No problem. <laughs> no problem. No, look, no, no, look, The Untouchables is a great film. It's absolutely a mobster movie. That's all I'm saying. So it would go in that category, and I'm going to do a gangster episode of gangster films. Okay. That's all. Okay, so The Dark Knight. The Dark Knight, yes. absolutely. So good. I mean, The Dark Knight, I've, I've talked about this movie a lot because it's one of my top five movies of all time. Um, obviously, it's one of the best superhero movies. It also took it to the big time in terms of a serious movie. It, you know, it got like multiple Oscar nominations. Yeah. Heath Ledger won the uh, Oscar Incredible. posthumously. I mean, it, it's not just a great performance. I think that's one of the perf- most classic performances of all time as Joker. Totally. But it does have incredible action scenes. I mean, the flipping of the truck, which right. they actually right. did, I always remember. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's got some incredible action scenes, so I think it absolutely deserves a mention there. Would you totally. agree? Absolutely. They were well, they were fearless on that, yeah. I think. Oh, my God. Well, Christopher Nolan, he's one of the go-to directors now. I mean, he's one of those directors now. I think people will go see a movie just because it was made yeah. by Christopher Nolan. Like, will, it becomes the next hottest thing. Yeah. I will see Dunkirk just because... It's incredible. It's, right. Oh, but it's, it's amazing. But I'm not into... British war history. Well, not even yeah. British war history, but just war movies in general. Like right. I, will, I will go to them because, like Steven Spielberg, for Saving Private right. Ryan, not because I want to go see a shoot like a war Absolutely. movie. Um, so I will watch that movie just because his name is associated with it, and because it's got some great actors in it. And I'm sure once I watch it, I'll be like, why didn't I want to see this movie in the first place? I'm, this is a great movie. But you're absolutely correct. People come along just because he has now established himself as a director that will give you a really good movie. Good. So we all agree on that. Yes. Okay. Good. We don't have to talk more good. about that. What, what else you got? No, I love it. I love it. I've talked about it a lot. <laughs> um, shoot him up. <laughs> Hold on. Let me see. I want to see if I put it on. No, I think I had it on and I think I took it off because my list was so long. I actually love that movie. Shoot <laughs> up is ridiculous. Have you seen it? No, Julia? I, haven't, I haven't seen it. It's the most guy, guy, stupid, oh, ridiculous so movie. It's, it's with so Clive good. Owen. Clive Owen, who is an actor. I actually love Clive Owen. Yeah. Paul Giamatti is so delicious oh, as the bad so guy. Good. Okay. He has, there's a two minute sequence of Clive Owen shooting up a bunch of bad guys while he's having sex. <laughs> What? Literally. And he's like, it's just... It's so... No, no, no. This movie is... It's tongue-in-cheek. It knows okay. what it's doing. It's yeah. over-the-top It's ridiculous. called Shoot em Up. I mean, yeah. there's, it's... it's there's no plot. Bury the lead. It's right there in the title. It, you know, <laughs> there, there, there's a sequence of him, like, jumping across buildings with a baby, you know, in one hand and a gun in the other hand. And it's all about him, like, saving this baby and... You wonder uh, how funding gets stirred up sometimes. Because a bunch of dudes want yeah. to see a movie called Shoot em Up. It's the dumbest movie ever. I thoroughly enjoy it. I remember I was watching it a few months ago and my wife was like, 
what are you watching? This looks like the most ridiculous thing ever. And that's why guys will be guys. You know? But uh, I love that you put it on the list because I had Absolutely. it and I took it off because I was almost embarrassed. No, no, no. <laughs> I fucking wear that Didn't shit on my sleeve. Admit you secretly like it. That's why we love you, Shannon. All right, I'm going to do another one. Okay. okay, I have a good one. Heat. Yes. Okay. He, have you seen Heat? Of course. Okay, you've seen Heat. Of yeah. Course. First time they were together. Uh, Al Pacino, Robert De Niro. Mm-hmm. So what's funny about Heat is, even, you know, this movie is like a three-hour epic kind of crime film. Mm-hmm. Right. I mean, it's kind of a crime film, but it's definitely action. Yeah. And uh, what it's actually most memorable for is, as you just said, it was the first pairing of Al Pacino and Robert De Niro in a scene together. Right. right. They were in Godfather 2, but they never shared scenes together. Right. And they have like a 10 minute sequence where they're just in a cafe talking to each other. Mm-hmm. And it's the most talked about scene. Mm-hmm. But actually the shoot up sequences, with, uh, you know, after the bank robbery yep. and, you know, the whole cat and mouse chase. Uh, it's got phenomenal shootouts. So that's why I put it on the list. Great action movie. Agreed. Absolutely agreed. And Val Kilmer did a great job. Val Kilmer's great in it. Young Ashley Judd, Tom Sizemore. Yeah. Great cast of actors. So, yeah, he is phenomenal. Your turn. Go ahead. Okay. Uh the new King Arthur movie that just came out. Did you like that? I love that movie. Really? Yes. So, I haven't seen it. Okay, well, let me tell you. It's with uh, Charlie Hunnam, yes. who I absolutely love from uh, Sons of Anarchy, and uh, Jude Law is the bad guy mm-hmm. in it. I saw a pre-screening of that about two, three years ago. Okay. Two years before it came out. So I knew there was something going on. They were having trouble because it took two years to make it to the screen. When I watched the pre-screening, I really enjoyed it. And then when I went out and saw it in the theater... I don't know what it was. Number one, I saw how much they changed right. with the editing. I didn't enjoy it as much. And unfortunately, it didn't do very well at all. Which um, was shocking because yeah. girls like him and he's good looking yeah. and they like well, swords. With- <laughs> let, let, me tell you what, let me tell you something. I, I, I know that they really screwed up with this. Number one, as I said, it, there was a lot of pre-production and editing. It took like two and a half years for that film. But mm. they sunk an insanely amount of money on that movie, which was just a mistake. Charlie Hunnan... Is, is great, but he's not a proven star. Right. And to, to spend 150 to $200 million on a movie like that, to me, whenever they do that, they're setting up to fail. It's always a big mistake. Mm-hmm. If it's a Marvel movie, you know you're golden. Right. You know, unless Pirates of the Caribbean. Unless Leo's in it, then you're good. Okay. But he's a or, proven earner. <laughs> well, that's what I was going to say, or an A-list star. But sure. even Leo, if you look at a lot of his movies, he doesn't make movies that are all made for $150 million. He actually doesn't, not all of them. Just Titanic. Yeah. Okay. Well, Titanic was the most expensive movie at the time. And when that first came out, critics were actually, at first, very harsh on Titanic. Mm-hmm. And then it made like $2 billion. <laughs> 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 fans came out wrong. Said, Fuck you, you're wrong. <laughs> you were denied. really wrong. You no, know, there's a lot of critics who have like, being ashamed of what their initial reviews were. Good. You know, it won 11 Oscars. But anyway, um, what was the movie you just mentioned? <laughs> King, <laughs> Arthur. King, King Arthur. King Arthur. I'm glad you mentioned it because I actually want to rewatch it and give it a try. The first time I saw it, I loved it. I was like, this is like Snatch and Lord of the Rings to me. That's yeah. what it felt yes. like because yes. Guy Ritchie Guy directed Ritchie it. But it's this big, and I love King Arthur. I'm British, though right. I love the Knights of the Round Table. I mean, I had some critiques, but like, I really enjoyed it. And then I actually took my wife out to see it in the theater and I was like, it was okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, I agree that it wasn't like I will fucking go out and shout it from the mountaintops that I love this movie, but I, everybody didn't has to go see Didn't you just say I yes. love this movie? I know, but that's not what, that's <laughs> you what I mean. Like, just, I didn't come out of the- Hopefully th- millions I, of people will listen to okay, it. Okay, <laughs> fine. I, I, that, but I, I didn't come out of it like right, going, right. running I up know to what you like mean. I'm gonna find a high building and shout like everybody go see King Arthur. Yeah, it was, I'm busting it, your balls. <laughs> you can bust my balls any day, Tony. <laughs> um, <laughs> Juliet's like loving this romance. Do you guys need a room? <laughs> Afterwards, don't worry. No, but I really enjoyed it, and it was just a fun time. It was, it was, you know, an an hour and a half, two hours, whatever, how long, however long the movie two hours, runs, yeah. of just. Entertainment. That's and that's all you can really ask for in a movie is entertainment. Like, yeah. did, was I entertained? Like Russell Crowe. Are you not entertained? Yeah. Like, fucking. That's yes, on my list. So we're gonna mention <laughs> that one now. Gladiator. Good segue. All right. Yeah. So I have Gladiator on my list too. I mean, that's absolutely an action movie. Yes. Uh, it's got some of the best action sequences in the arena. Gladiators and with the tigers was incredible. Mm, yep. um, and it's more than just an action movie, but it definitely yeah. works an action movie. Absolutely. Braveheart is another one. Oh. I'll just I'll put that in with it. Love it. Well, because those films are in a bit of a different class. They're, know, they're, they're kind they're of like drama. epic yes. dramas. Epic, yeah. for sure. But they have incredible 
battle sequences and action sequences. So we'll plug Gladiator with Russell Crowe, which he won the Oscar for, mm-hmm. and then Braveheart with Mel Gibson, which he also won the Oscar for, for yes. directing. Yes. Those are great historical war action movies. Can I just do a plug? I mean... Of course you can. <laughs> <laughs> Mel Gibson really does know how to do war films. Like you look at The Patriot, Apocalypto. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He, That's he, on my list. New one. He, he really does know how to do it. Yeah, you know? We Were Soldiers. He yes. did, oh my God, Hacksaw Ridge. That's yes, so I'm saying, the yes. new one, that one... Oh, those Holy. war scenes. But that's a war movie. Yeah. Yes, and, but and it's phenomenal. He really does create this sense of yeah. epic... I just don't even know what it is. Storytelling, yeah. it's it's pretty incredible. Yeah, Mel Gibson's had a rough time in Absolutely. his personal life, mm-hmm. but he's extremely talented. And I won't lie, I'm happy to see him back yes. doing what he does yes. best. Yes, when I'm, he's an yeah. artist and he's really doing something yeah. amazing, it really communicates on the screen. Hacksaw Ridge blew me away. Totally. And Andrew Garfield's performance oh as well God. as Desmond Doss yeah. was so good. All right, go ahead. You, you do one since I just did like a trifecta. <laughs> <for that. laughs> um, a Knight's Tale. I love that oh. movie. I don't think it's an action. Oh, come on now. It's like, it's like a comedy. It is, know. but I, again, like, That's like you were Heath saying. That's Heath Ledger. Uh, Great film. So good. But again, you were saying like almost every movie has some action scene in it. Even, yeah. I mean, but the, it, but the it, action in A Knight's Tale is jousting. Yes. I guess. You know, uh, it, you know, I'll let you finish, but I, I don't know. I just didn't even categorize it. It's such a cute film and it's all, it's Heath Ledger mm-hmm. who, God damn it. Like I left us so early. I, I've yeah. talked about him a lot. I, I, I loved Heath Ledger. I thought he was mesmerizing. Totally. Absolutely. His charisma was just incredible. And it was so sad. I like had this deep personal loss along with all the millions of other <laughs> women I know. when he died. But <laughs> women, exactly. As a guy, I, I, I loved him, but I loved that movie. I'll let you talk about it. Go ahead. <laughs> no, I, clearly your broveries are kicking over Heath Ledger. So. Uh, no, I, yeah. And I love A Knight's Tale. I just didn't think of it as an action movie. But go yeah. on. Okay, that was all. It was just a nice oh. side. Was... <laughs> okay, you, you brought it up. I shut it down. Yeah. <laughs> Paul okay. Bettany is great in that also. He he's incredible. incredible. He's actually got several great cast members in that. I don't remember yeah. all their names. He is great. He's, he's great. Isn't he Chaucer or something? He's a yeah. British, yeah. famous the, British the, writer, the writer or poet. Yeah. Yeah. He was awesome. Yeah. Okay, I have Enter the Dragon. You've oh, got to have a Bruce Lee flex absolutely. on him. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So, I mean, I grew up on uh, Bruce Lee films, and it actually saddens me when I see a lot of people who really don't know his work. Yeah. Obviously, because most of the films he did, like, you know, The Big Boss and stuff mm-hmm. like that, um, were foreign. Right. So they weren't in British. Uh, I think Enter the Dragon is the only actual um, American release he got. But it's such an iconic movie. So the uh, Bruce, Bruce Lee, to me, still mesmerizes me. I think he's incredible. I've watched all these little behind-the-scenes clips with him. He was just a martial arts legend. He had incredible charisma. Uh, again, it's so sad he left the world so soon. Absolutely. Enter the Dragon is just stands the test of the time. To me, it's one of the best martial arts action films ever. Would you agree? Absolutely. And awesome. I didn't put it on my list because I knew you would already have it. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what else you got? The Escape Plan. With well, that's Stallone. With Sylvester and Stallone and Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, yeah. so, oh my God. I didn't God. see that. Oh, my God. It's another <laughs> one of those things that was just like, it's just an excuse to put these two in a movie together right. and have them do the fucking Stallone and Schwarzenegger things that they do. I enjoyed it. it I remember. I, I haven't so seen it again. I haven't seen it again. I saw it once in the theater with yeah. my mom because it was there and it was, you know, let's go see a movie. What's the, uh, I guess we'll watch this, you know? And it was just a fun movie. Again, it, it was just entertained. It is fun. And it, there was nothing spectacular about it and it wasn't necessarily a really good story or plausible yeah, It's or quite anything. forgettable. <laughs> it was just a fun time. I think what I remember is Arnie and Sly being together. Yes. You know, because I grew up with them as my action heroes. Right. Um, the funny thing is I have The Last Stand on my list. Have you seen that? Yes. That was with Arnold Schwarzenegger. That yes. When, so when he finished his uh, run as uh, the governor, right. <laughs> uh, the governor of California, that was his first film as a comeback. Mm-hmm. And it didn't get a lot of hype. It's actually a really, a really good really action good. movie with, yeah. with Arnie. So I love that. And then I also have The Expendables. Yes. Just because that was every action fan's like ga- orgasm to see like all of their action heroes together. You've got what? Antonio Banderas. Mm-hmm. You've got Bruce Willis. Everybody. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Mm-hmm. Sylvester Stallone. Dolph Lundgren. Jet Li. I mean, it goes on and on. Jason John Claude Van Damme. Yeah, yeah. Jason Statham. John Claude Van Damme. So they did like a whole bunch. They did three of them. 
the, I put the first one, the first Expendables, because I've seen it a few times, yeah. and it's cheesy, but it's a lot of fun. Chuck Norris, yes. who kind of just flies in every now and then yeah. and saves the day, like, doo -doo -doo, and then leaves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I loved it. Can I add one more for Arnold? Of I course. love Kindergarten Cop. As an oh, action yes. movie? Yes, yes. there's action comedy. in it. I know, but there <laughs> is, so, he just... still has his like Terminator vibe. I'm going to okay. kick your ass with guns and he does rise to the it's occasion. Not the <laughs> it's not a tumor. <laughs> okay, you need to watch that movie again. I like Kindergarten Garden Cop. It's probably got about 15 minutes of action. Right, True, right. but it has a really good villain. Oh, it does. He's it amazing. That does. guy is so good yeah. as a bad guy. And you're yeah. just like, oh. <laughs> but, but that film is funny and it's sweet because his interaction right. with the kids, mm -hmm. his chemistry really worked. So I, I actually really like that movie. It's I don't think it's an action movie. All right, movie. I'll give you that. Sorry, I just Juliet. think he has but, like the, he still has the mentality of, of like, I'm a Terminator Arnold, and it Arnold carries through. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's the clash of the worlds. Like the action coming together with, <laughs> with kids. kids. All right, I'm going to do another one here. So Raiders of the Lost Ark. Yes. So I had to do an Indiana Jones film. Again, he's done several. I love Temple of Doom. I would actually probably even put that one before it as an action because it's got the whole Kalima. like yeah but it's got like the roller coaster <laughs> sequence where they're yeah. going down the, 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 the mine coal shafts, mines yeah. and the opening sequence is incredible with the airplane and then skiing down the Alps mm -hmm. and the mountains and the shoot <laughs> I mean it's so unrealistic but I loved it um, but they're all great uh, I'll probably just go with the first one because it's got the whole opening sequence you know running down the tunnel with the, the big ball yeah um, I uh, love the third one yeah I, I see I love them all yeah The Last Crusade with Sean Connery yeah. So it's almost a trifecta of all the, the first three that's not mentioned the last one that they made. Uh, <laughs> whatever. I, I was still entertained. Like I, You liked it? I was entertained. I, I don't know that I agree with everything. It wasn't with, as uh, memorable. It, oh it, it wasn't God. as memorable, for sure. But I'm one of those guys, like, there's only one movie. You're too nice, Shannon. I, there's one movie that, that you hate. I walked out of. And then, like, we... It was just like one minute past the point where they will give you your money back. Like if you're in there for 17 or 18 minutes, then when is that? What well, movie? Now we want to know. <laughs> no, it was called Virus, and oh, it's a shame because it. it was it. Jamie Lee Curtis and one of the Baldwin brothers. I've never even heard of never it. Never heard of it. And like, they're like, oh, okay, that, that that's a good cast. Jamie Lee Curtis. She's doesn't usually let you down, and she didn't let me down. It was just the movie was not a right. good movie. It's a, it's a sci-fi thriller, like kind of horror movie, huh. basically. They're on this boat and a lightning bolt fucking hits it and it's this alien thing takes over the ship computer and then forms <laughs> itself into like a, a cyborg bio We're promoting organic. virus, the one movie he didn't like for some reason. Don't know, see it. <laughs> All right. Hide your children. Okay, anyways, I'm going to get this but, back but on I, the rails. <laughs> you were talking about Raiders of the Lost yes. Ark and I wanted to, if I can, give you a real life story. Tell me, of course. Because you were talking about like what I do abroad in Nepal. Um... The, the country is 20% Buddhist and 80% Hindu and religion is everything there. Like they're that it's just part of their culture and Kathmandu, especially like you, you saw, um, Dr. Strange and they go to Nepal right, and yeah. it, it just everywhere you walk, you have like holy men and temples and all that kind of stuff. And there's this village that's kind of up on a hill outside of Kathmandu that just got leveled in the, in the quake. And, they have so many gods in, in Hinduism. They had this one temple was dedicated to one of the goddesses and the whole village made their money from, <clears throat> excuse me, once a year, it was the, her holiday and people from Hindus from all over would come and make a pilgrimage to her temple to worship her. And then the people in that village would man the temple and, and serve everybody. And they made all their money for the year and, and survived until the next holiday. And it was just a one weekend affair. And the temple collapsed and they have this, according to them, they have uh, like an idol of her that's about 3,000 years old. Oh, wow. And there's a, a little clay vase that's they put in front of her that they put flowers into. And that's also about 3,000 years old. And it's in a, a chest, a, a case, just like in the, the ark, you know, the Nazis pull it out. Right, and, right, right. So... They asked us, because after we do search and rescue, we have three priorities. We have, you know, rescuing live people. We recover the casualties so they can get a proper burial. And then we retrieve valuables such as, like, uh, in Ecuador, one of the hospitals um, partially collapsed. And they had evacuated all the patients, but the pharmacy was in there. And all the medications that they needed to keep their patients that they had evacuated alive were still inside this hospital. And nobody would go inside. So we went inside, got the medications, and brought it out and gave it to the hospital staff. 
So that's our three things that we do. Hmm. So it's cool. Yeah. So we, you know, search and rescue was over. We, we had recovered a couple of the, of the casualties for burial and this priest asked us if we would at least take a look to see if we could find the, um, this Base. idol to see, well, the idol valuable to them. Yeah. yeah. It's, 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 you know, 3000 years old. Um, and that's the center of this entire community it lives off of this one little idol. Right. <clears throat> the, anyways, we did go in and say, look, you're not Hindus, so you can't look at it. And I, I just, they said all, that to you? yeah, like oh, all wow. I envisioned was like, if I open this case, I'm gonna, like, oh, my face is going to fucking melt. <laughs> <laughs> now I see where you're going with this. I was like, <laughs> like I don't, uh, this is a great story, but where is he going no, no, with That's this? exactly what it, like, <laughs> all, the whole time, like we were there all day, like digging into like through several layers of concrete and, and stone masonry and stuff like that to get to the, the upshot of the story is we did find it. And we also found this clay vase right next to it that they were for sure was unprotected and it was just gone. But we found both of them and we presented them back to the, oh, that's the high priest man. and everything. But the, I was just when we saw it, I was like, it reminded it reminded you, like the, the whole time we were digging into this. You're thing, such a like, nerd. <laughs> <laughs> don't look, don't look, don't look, don't open the box. My face will, all of our faces will melt off. <laughs> that's so cool. All right, we're gonna carry on. <laughs> okay, good. So I, I had to uh, do a mention of uh, Lord of the Rings. So again, Lord of the Rings is kind of like an epic fantasy, fantasy yeah. um, but it has some of the best battle sequences mm-hmm. that i mean the battle of helm's deep is incredible yeah. uh, i went with return of the king mm-hmm. the last one uh because i mean i think that's the most phenomenal in terms of just battle sequences and action um again it's more fantasy but i have to mention it here just because of you know the, the incredible action scenes would you totally agree agree all right what else you got and the hard work i have to say from the actors i mean, I mean just course, blood yeah. sweat and tears well, they all moved to like New Zealand for like two years, apparently. Yeah, but it was know? incredible. I mean, really, you could see the dedication in the film yeah, course, yeah. Come, come through. Yeah, there's lots of CG, but they did use a lot of practical effects. Sure. Like I heard they, they had like two, three hundred guys on horses, yeah. which is still huge. And then they added like the thousands behind them with CG. Yeah. All right. And there's one orc that answers his cell phone in the middle of the scene. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> all right, go on, Okay, Shannon. so um, we, we brought this up last night and... But I, it, the Highlander. Yeah, so we just watched the Highlander. So Shannon is staying with me. He lives in Florida. He came over to California, so he's actually staying with us. So, you know, we've been talking about a lot of stuff. And I'm like, damn it. It's hard to, like, talk to you because I want to save this for the podcast. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> but we were watching Highlander last night, which is one of those ridiculous, cheesy movies from the 80s with Christopher Lambert. Queen does the whole soundtrack. Mm-hmm. If you haven't seen Highlander, watch it. I love that movie. But you were right. I didn't even think of it as an action film. It's totally got so is. much action. It's all sword fights, but it's got badass action. It also has, which it reminded me of, one of the best movie villains. Clancy mm-hmm. Brown plays the Kurgan. He's so deliciously <laughs> batshit crazy and evil. <laughs> there can be only one. It's ah, so, so good. And then he has that scene where he's like, hi, I'm Candy. Of course you are. <laughs> and then what's the thing he says like, in the church? I got something to say. It's better to burn out than to fade I've away. I've got something to say. <laughs> it's better to burn out than to fade away. It's just so eighties, yeah. oh. and it was so glorious at the time. Oh my like, god! Like, and it, you, you just love it. Everything yeah. about it was just like this. The special effects were. Cheesy. so cheesy <laughs> i just watched it yeah and unfortunately all the other movies because they made like four of them Could and the tv show yeah them? which were terrible yeah. Yeah. the first one it, it's just it's perfect b movie entertainment mm-hmm. but you're totally right it absolutely is an action movie dudes chopping got each other's heads off like awesome <laughs> sword play yeah definitely so i'll give you that for sure and I, lo- I love that movie okay i have one of my favorite action films and actually one of my favorite films leon the professional yes so in england and i think in europe it's just called leon right here it's called the professional the professional yeah okay that's uh, uh jean reno jean reno good thank you yeah. but i love that guy he's a french actor who you know he was in mission impossible but he hasn't done a lot he was in ronin with robert de niro which is Such actually another movie. great movie oh my god and then okay so uh, Leon introduced the world Natalie Portman, mm-hmm. who was fantastic in this movie. He's a hit man, and he like basically kind of adopts this young girl and trains her to be a hit hit girl. And then Gary Oldman, so oh my good. god, he is deliciously evil in this film. He's like a corrupt cop, yeah. you know. Um, but the action sequences are 
fucking fantastic. And that movie, by the way, sorry, spoilers, it's been out for 25 years, has one of the most heartbreaking endings yeah. ever. Yeah. You know, I mean, obviously he doesn't make it. <laughs> yeah. uh, he saves her. But the way they they shot that track, that sequence, so he's he's being badly injured and he's walking down this tunnel and all you can see is the light at the end of the tunnel and it's the, it's shot from his perspective right. leon's perspective right. as he's you know and natalie portman is waiting for him outside and you know and you think he's going to make it and then gary oldman just shows up behind him and all you see is this gun uh. just follow his head yeah and then the camera goes back to his perspective as the light gets closer and closer and then it just topples to the ground right yeah. right oh my god and you then gary him. oldman stands over him with a big smirk he's got the gun and he shot him in the head and leon's dying and then he opens up the thing and it's covered in explosive and he's like <laughs> oh fuck boom <laughs> i just gave away the ending but anyway, i love leon i love that movie with a passion it's so good so if you haven't seen it i ruined it yeah. <laughs> okay what else you got well i mean <laughs> spoiler alerts be damned like that movie's been out so yeah long. yeah so that's my kind of prerogative when i talk about a new movie i really try not to do spoilers stranger things i couldn't help myself so we put a big disclaimer because yeah. i had to vent yes you know i'm such a nerd i love that show so, but so no spoilers we haven't finished it yet oh yeah so no spoilers for you but don't listen to my episode i already did an episode okay. uh, which is up on itunes only listen to that which please do yeah. after you binge watch which you should be binge watching we're like six episodes in okay, we're, yeah. we're almost there so good anyway sorry carry on <laughs> hot fuzz that's on my list, you yes. bastard. You stole it from me. <laughs> okay, so um, Edgar Wright, who is the guy who directed Baby Driver, by yeah, the way. Okay. You should watch that movie. It's a great movie. Um, he does these films with Nick Frost and Simon Pegg. Shaun of the so Dead, good. which was on my horror list. Even though it's a comedy, it's very it's such horror. such a great zombie movie. Um, yeah, and he, he did like The World's End. He did Paul. I love Hot Fuzz. Hot Fuzz is his take on action movies, basically. Yeah. He's just going all out crazy on action movies um and it, it works in its own right totally. it's a fantastic movie it's over the top so good so good yeah the two of them paired though is what makes it perfect Nick they Frost just they just play yeah. off each other so well because i don't think someone else would be able to do that there's a chemistry there yeah i agree and it's also got what's his name the old james bond yeah, who i yeah. love timothy dalton. timothy dalton yeah he's the bad guy yeah. oh he's so good in it i love it i love the fact that i've seen him popping up around in a lot of things in the last decade yeah. Um, Because actually, I like The Living Daylights, <laughs> the, the James Bond movie. I like that one. But anyway, Hot Fuzz was great. Yeah. Did you want to say anything else about no, it? No, just that it's just, again, like you said, it's just there's a, even that scene where he's like, wait, you haven't seen... And then he they just do like a... Point break, a, a which is on my list. <laughs> a marathon of, of yeah. fucking movies. And That's just... right. Nick Frost, oh, Bad Boys 2 and Point Break. Yeah, yeah. And Nick Frost does the whole thing where, yeah, and he's got the gun and, like, and ah, the guy's running away. Ah, and, but then he realizes they're like friends and he loves them. He's like, ah, damn you. And he goes, ah, and he shoots in the air. <laughs> he shoots in the air, just like a point break. And just like... Yeah. <laughs> he depicts the same scene. So since we segued into that, I'm going to say Point Break. Absolutely. I love Absolutely. Point Break. Another Keanu Reeves movie yes. with, uh, and then um, Patrick Swayze. Swayze as Bodhi is like epitomizes cool. Mm -hmm. Talk about a villain who you love, right? You yeah, you right. love him, you know. Like when in the end, when like you know Keanu Reeves' character finally captures him, but then he lets him go off to the into the Certain ocean. And like we'll get him when he comes back. He won't be coming back, you know. Uh, <laughs> hey, we're nerds, Julia. We're, we are nerds. You realize that, right? I do. I do. It's coming clear. <laughs> anyway, Point Break is phenomenal. And it has Such some incredible action sequences. It's got a chase scene. Yeah. As a matter of fact, that chase scene, before he lets him go and shoots the gun in the air, they're just running they're, they're through like... They're dead president masks. Yeah, but they're running through houses and kitchens in, and gardens. and The LA River. Yeah. Like, throwing dogs at each other. <laughs> uh, anyway, I love Point Break. So it's good. so good. What else you and got? <laughs> um, I, personal story, I saw that at the Egyptian theater. Oh, on I Point Break? Out, yeah. Um, with my mom. Like, they, the Egyptian theater, before they did all the renovations, before the earthquake in 94, it had a bunch of damage. But before that, it was the, the big theater, and then they had two smaller theaters on the side. But Point Break was playing, again, on the huge big screen, screen just oh, like, i would have loved to have seen that on the big just, screen like, i didn't see faces it faces are like as big as almost like right there and as big as the screen and then it comes so all you don't miss anything when it's so big like right that. and that's how you want to see these big production action movies where 
you get to see everything and you don't miss it. Right. Uh, and I'm so pissed off that they remade Point Break. And, and yeah. I didn't just even just watch it. Just don't even call it Point Break. Yeah. Just, yeah. just That's call what they should have done. Movie call and... it something else. Yeah. I, I, I wouldn't watch it out of principle and apparently yeah. it was terrible. All right. Uh, should I do one or are you doing one? Go ahead. Well, no, 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 because, no, because that was mine and you, and you honorably mentioned <laughs> I kind of, Break. I stole it. I piggybacked on it. So go ahead and do one of yours. Oh, okay. Thank you. It's so nice of you. <laughs> Okay, good. All right, let's see. I okay, I I do have Bad Boys, so I I think Bad Boys is awesome. Yes. And Danny's also telling me we're almost at an hour. So here's what we're gonna do: we're gonna talk about Bad Boys, okay. and then we'll take a break, and then we'll come back. And you guys have the honor of doing a two-parter special, Woo! Woo! which is totally fine with me if you guys are okay with I'm that. I'm so down with this. Okay. I- I've been looking forward to this. Like <laughs> I know, ever since you came out to visit us and in Florida, looking, yeah, <laughs> and like okay, when we get home, we're gonna talk movies and shit. Like fuck yeah, it's so fun. So yeah, so okay, it. so let's talk about uh, Bad Boys and then we'll take a break. Um, I, I love that movie. I love that movie. It's Will Smith. Yeah. That was one of his first big kind of action star movies. And Martin Lawrence. Martin Lawrence it's also hilarious. So yes. good. it's so funny. The villain in that movie is also really good. He's yeah. like really evil great action and uh, i mean it's got so many great lines you know when they're arguing in front of the uh, like the cashier at the you, store yeah. you know and, and then he sees the gun and he pulls out the gun on both of them and he's like you know like we're cops we've got badges like badges badges motherfucker here badges two dollars fifty cents <laughs> and then they both pull the gun at him and they're like back the fuck up and give me um, a pack of the tropical fruit bubblicious <laughs> and some Skittles. <laughs> you know? Anyway, uh, it's so, so funny. Good. Mike Lowry. Yeah, Mike <laughs> Lowry. Ooh, everyone wants to be like Mike Lowry. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Will Smith was, I mean, that's when you could see uh, this guy's going to be a huge star. Star, yeah. You know, he was Charisma. great. Everyone knew him as obvi- obviously Jazzy Fresh Jeff. Prince, yeah. Uh, yeah, Fresh Prince. Yeah. Um, oh, Bad Boys is great. I hadn't seen it in quite a while. Uh, and I watched it again like six months ago and I still loved it. It was really good. The action held up. And again, it's got that like ultra 90s cheese. Yep. But uh, something you said, Juliet, which I think is really true is, you know, when you get these actors who really, the charisma, like Martin Lawrence, who I actually think is very funny. And yeah, he's, he's, he's good. But Will Smith just epitomizes cool sexiness. Totally. And, yeah. Even as a dude, I'll say that. I mean, he's just, he's so badass. Yeah. yeah. He's amazing. He just has the, the it factor, this sparkle that comes out of him. And, and the six pack doesn't hurt. Yeah, him. it really doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. So we're going to take a break. Okay. This is uh, end of part one of action movies. Thanks. You guys have been awesome. And, uh, you know, we'll, what we'll do is we'll tie Shannon's hands together for a part two. <laughs> Excellent. So he doesn't, like, keep knocking everything. I love you, dude. You're like I a big you. bunny rabbit. It's awesome. I love your enthusiasm. Um, okay, good. So end of part one. <laughs> Boom. Thank you so much for listening to another episode of Tony the Movie Guy, the podcast, Action Movies. Um, just a reminder to follow us on all of our social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Tony the Movie Guy. Also, to please email us at any time at Tony the Movie Guy, the podcast at gmail.com. Also, a final reminder to please rate and review our podcast on iTunes and Apple Podcasts. It's really helpful. It helps us get us up on the iTunes charts, which is really great so we can get out to more people so we can keep on making podcasts and it's an endless cycle of podcast making which is helpful um so again stay tuned to next week for the next episode of the action movies podcast part two we're really excited to bring it to you uh, maybe a little bit before next monday who knows i might be feeling really adventurous um besides that we will see you then Bye bye